Good morning. We've decided to introduce ourselves through your creative forces of the movies and the drama that you have created here on earth for us to introduce ourselves. It's easier to Well, we figured it was easier to introduce ourselves through storyline because we know how you humans panic and, and go into uh, the panic mode so quickly because fear is so relevant on this planet. But we decided to use the, the theme of, well, partly the theme of, the Vikings, because their energy is so potent and so strong. And that's what it's gonna take to turn this thing over is that kind of power within you, how they took it with force. If you want to be a civilization that governs yourself, which is what you've expressed, taking your power back, it's going to take work on your part. It's going to take work to heal. You're so used to listening to everybody telling you what to do that you've lost your own identity and your own, you know, it's just, just tell me where to mail it. Just tell me where to, you know, who to call. And sometimes you got to figure that out yourself. <clears throat> Miriam has loaned us her avatar. Lilith is a mediator. She's the one that stands in the balance for you. Because she has lived in your consciousness before. Sandalfon and Metatron, the Archangels, are here assisting her because they also have lived on planet Earth and know the struggles of mankind. The Galactics use straight force. They don't deal in, in our reality here as you do. They think differently. Um, they're, they go and do what they're supposed to do with no emotion. It's not that they're mean, it's just they live in a non-duality consciousness and um, they're, they're, they live in a unity. So it is what you would call love, but it's what you also call tough love. It's just everybody stays in their lane, they do what they're supposed to do and they heal and you become a higher conscious person and you don't, you're not swayed by if somebody looks at you weird or <laughs> whatever you do here. But we use a storyline because it's difficult to convey the message from one consciousness to another when you wouldn't be able to hear what they're trying to say. So, um, they just want to have fun with it, you know? It's not like we want this thing to happen gently, according to the scriptures. We could bring it in with force, and we could bring it in with destruction, or we can bring it in with gentleness, compassion, which is really, I think we all want to go that route. Um, the story is it's happening so we got to just decide how we want it to come in you know and you're in control because it's your own thoughts it's the way you think if you're thinking fear you'll create more fear if you think war you'll create more war if you think peace, you create more peace. If you 
you know, we have control. A lot of lights have come on board. A lot of information's out there. A lot of good information's out there. Use your intuition. There's some that's not balanced. And some that aren't your path. You know, you got to find out what's good for you. I think that's it for now. Godspeed.